Ladies and gentlemen, I got nine things that I want to share with you. We got DLC 2 teaser. We got Battle for 6 news. Dr. Disrespect got banned once again. We also have Soldier Boy beef and he's beefing with Randy Orton. This is wild. I want to share all this with you. So like, subscribe, bell for the YouTube algorithm so I can interrupt you every time you're about to score on your crush. But at number nine, Breaking Epic Games has acquired Media Tonic, the developer behind Fall Guys. F's in the chat, boys. And uh, shout out to Logan for adding me in the situation. And I have to say this, another one gone too soon and why do you even try right like you already know that epic games will end up buying the whole planet earth why do you even try people fighting over some dumb stuff in the chat out here and i'm like yo like you can take the manhood of kratos that they already have you can take the manhood of master chief they already have but don't take lara craft okay that's the only thing that i'm worried about but if they actually give lara craft a default ponytail for 20 dollars uh, that dog like I'm, I'm just gonna i'm just gonna also some pretty good news coming from takahashi and dj Foundry followed up by saying that if this was true in the first place, the bigger headline would be unsigned code running on a PlayStation 5 retail unit. And apparently, the, the situation here is that yesterday we did report the fact that because you know the news was spreading like a wildfire, a Chinese man was saying that he was able to mine Ethereum on a Sony Pony console. Our innocent community, the second they heard that, they went into depression, and rightfully so. I would be going into depression if I didn't have the Sony Pony console, right? Knowing the fact that we got scalpers, and now we're gonna have these miners, mother. Thank Hopefully we're hearing that users haven't mined ether using a playstation 5 yet okay so the big keyword is yet and before somebody actually finds out but the situation is simple this is a screenshot this man actually shared and if you scan that qr code the message will indicate that the story was manufactured for entertainment value there is no such software following by laughing i'm pretty sure somebody would be watching this video in dark and laughing and would be like okay i'm gonna be the first guy to mine bitcoin on this and then i'm gonna reveal it to the public and then everybody will start buying PS5 for mining. But as of right now, we just avoided a disaster, ladies and gentlemen. But also, the homie Rex added me in the situation, and we're hearing that Harry Potter RPG Hogwarts Legacy will reportedly allow for trinity characters. I, I cannot say these words on YouTube, so I gotta find alternatives, okay? And this is where I get a kick of PTSD, big homie. Sources have confirmed to Bloomberg that players will be able to create a character that has either a masculine or feminine voice no matter what their body looks like. The good thing here is that we're gonna be able to customize the boss and Vagana in the year 2022 with 2022 uh, graphics, so that, that's the good news. But man, it brings me back to the cyberpunk days, all right? Like, these are the days that brings the depression back. So, I'm not sure, okay? And another thing here is that people are just going wild in the in the, in the the chat out here. A lot of our innocent community members are saying, I want a massive Magnum Dong and my name to be Susan. 69 likes, everyone leave it at that. Whatever you tell the community, they will do completely opposite. And I'm gonna try here. Let's not hit 2000 likes. Let's see if that actually works or not. The homie Andrew added me in the situation and apparently this is wild. Like people are going pretty hard at my boy, Soldier Boy. Now, before we actually go into like the facts there, like he's not my boy. What? This is a massive beef going around. We're talking about Randy Orton straight from WWE, who's a proud father, devoted husband, 14-time world champion. Soulja Boy disrespected the man by saying that if you mad because I spit facts, just say that what you what you do is fake and I stand on that. What I do is real. Come on, come to your world. Lol, welcome to Soulja World. That's mega gay. But Randy Orton says that you spitting facts seems like all you spitting is the same mess you rap about. Clear your throat, my dog, and then be there. Enough talk, back it up. Mother is crazy, okay? And this is a match that I would love to see, okay? Smash like if you would love to see that. And people just going crazy, running around hitting John Cena and R Truth's line for some ghost lyrics. What I do is real. We all know you can't even write your own lyrics. A man can barely write, let alone lyrics. And if this is not enough sauce for you, well, ladies and gentlemen, put your kids to bed, hide your wives, because now Dr. Disrespect has been banned again. Now, this is not as big as the Twitch ban, but check this out. The Toronto Ultra Tournament uh, but I got some bad news, unfortunately. Bad news, boys. Uh, I'm still gonna be playing in the Toronto Ultra Tournament, but Doc is unfortunately not going to be. Uh, I'm getting lots of messages right now. Sorry about that. Listen, he's not allowed to play. I got a message back from the organizers from Toronto Ultra and Call of Duty. They're the ones putting the tournament off, and they said that Doc is not allowed. I'm assuming it has to do with his Twitch ban. I messaged Doc right away, and I was like, bro, is there any magic you can pull? Anything you can do? And he said, unfortunately not. Like, it's it's weird that they're not letting me play in this thing. It, it is what it is, okay? Some of the experts are like, hey, because he's a loud piece of shit and annoying as who. That's why. Screaming is actually good for health. Like, I do scream sometimes as well. It's, uh, it's pretty. 
pretty good to let it all out. We're also hearing that Black Ops Zombies DLC 2 may take place in Berlin, according to Intel, and this is actually pretty much coming from the game files. We have a boomer talking in this video clip. Apparently, in the recording, a Requiem Station chief talks of a developing situation in Berlin, where Dr. Valentina from Omega Group was spotted in the city. There is a worry that her presence means that there will perhaps be an outbreak in a live populated city. Normally, Omega would operate in the shadows. We have seen this mission in the campaign, and we've also seen Samantha actually in the in the cutscene, in the in the in the intro cutscene for D Machina, and apparently that is gonna be the map. And I'm actually pumped for this. Finally, we might get a nighttime map. This is something that I really wanted for a, a long time because all what we're getting is like daytime maps, and they're not bad or anything like that. But definitely, we need we need some night maps as well. Also in the news, we have an update on the situation. EA confirms that Dice LA has been working on Battlefield 6 for more than a year. This is massive news because for the longest amount of time, people were thinking that Dice LA barely started working on this game. They were only working for six months because Battlefield 6 is not looking good, so they need like more people. Because we also got Criterion right now, and if you were sus, I don't blame you, my G. Nowadays, I will be sus. If you're not sus, you gotta be sus in this environment, okay? We're more talking about EA out here, but the good news here is that they have been doing helicopters with their woos for a solid year at EA Dice LA. So that tells me that this game better be huge, okay? And speaking of just that, Battlefield replied with this gift the other day on February 28th, the day before we actually got the information, because EA confirmed that version 1 of the Battlefield 6 trailer is confirmed, so I'm actually pretty pumped, and Tom Henderson replied by saying this, all I'm saying is that Criterion was the primary studio that worked on Firestorm. Originally, Tom Henderson did say that we might be getting Battle Royale in this game, because that's kind of like what he's hearing, and Criterion worked on Firestorm, so maybe we're gonna get like Battle Royale for the billionth time, but because... <laughs> This is my dad, yeah. Also, Sony confirms that PlayStation Store will stop selling movie and TV content. Now, I view this as a W in a way because I normally don't watch movies or anything like that on my Sony Pony console. But what about the homies who watch that? Like W, Pog, or L? Let me know. But content to be pulled in August. Previously purchased items will remain accessible, and they say this. At Sony Interactive Entertainment, we strive to provide the best entertainment experience. Uh, that might be cap, but I'm personally a Sony pony, so it might not be cap, I don't know, uh, for PlayStation fans. And that means evolving over offerings that customer needs change. We've seen tremendous growth from PlayStation fans using subscription-based and ad-based entertainment streaming services on our consoles. With this shift in our customer behavior, we have decided to no longer offer movie and TV purchases and rentals through PlayStation store as of August 31st, 2021. Part of me really feels like that, yo, they, they bought a drop like a Netflix type of subscription on PlayStation in the coming months because they have detected this shift in customer behavior. So I really feel like that they're gonna drop that or maybe they're not gonna do it because Netflix exists and majority of the people are already on Netflix. If you watch Netflix, the chances are you're gonna stick with Netflix, right? So I don't view this as an L, but share your expertise. This was number one. Thank you for subscribing, but hit the subscribe bell so I can interrupt you every time you're about to score on your crush. Check out this video on the screen. You're gonna get an instant kick of dopamine, and we'll see you right there.